So this video is to show you how to submit your evidence for e-learning, blended learning via Smart UMS platform. So in this semester, you can still use other platform, but you have to submit all the evidence, including the content, activity, and assessment that you have done with the student in other platform through the Smart UMS. So the first thing that you have to do is to submit the synopsis of your course. So go to the Add Activity, Code Synopsis, Add. So this can be your Table 3, for example, okay. or your Code Synopsis. So you just drag your Code Synopsis here, and then just save and return to the course. And the next thing you have to, when you want to submit the content, the learning content, what you can, and you have posted in other website, what you need to do, you have to submit your evidence in the smart tool by using the URL module. Okay, just add. You can write the detail of your content. And then you should go to your content. In this case, it maybe it's a discussion or it's either it's a lecture note that you share in the Facebook. You can just copy this one, paste on the link, and then save and return to the course. Okay. Or you have some content in the Google Drive. What you need to do is just right click, okay, get the shareable link, link. copy the link. And then submit as a in separate URL. So okay. so you will need to do this for all the content that you put in other platform for auditing purpose. So now I've just explained how to submit the synopsis or the syllabus of your course, the content. The next thing is to you have to submit your activity. So you might conduct your activity in many different ways, but when you submit the evidence, you have to create a forum. Okay. Even though your activity is not a forum, you still have to create a submit your evidence via this forum button. Just click add. So you can put something like brief discussion uh, description okay. and then copy the link of the activity that you done in different platform and then paste the link into the description box and then set to return to the course okay. similarly if you have done your discussion in the Facebook okay, okay something like this you still can get the copy the link of the discussion for example this one okay. so you can copy this one so this is the it's not the legend not, it's not the content it's the discuss it's the activity so you can create a activity so in this case you must create a forum in the smart UMS to submit your activity that you have conduct in other platform So you can need to submit all. So you have the synopsis, content, and activity. And the next one is about assessment. So you might done your assessment in a Google form or in other format or in other platform. The way to submit your assessment, the proof of your assessment via by using Smart UMS is to add an assignment. So you must use the assignment. Okay. Then after this, let's say 
the quiz that I've done to my class is using Google Form. It's not using the Smart UMS quiz function. Then you can need to get the link. Okay. Even though this is a quiz, but when you submit the evidence, any evidence that related to the assessment, you have to create an assignment button and then submit to Smart UMS. So basically, this will save you uh, some of the work. So in the past, if you use other platform, you have to print screen and then combine all the information and then send to the uh, e-learning center for auditing purpose. Now, what you have to do, you need to create an account in the Smart UMS and then submit your evidence by using the category that have been defined by us. So for synopsis, you need to use the synopsis button. For any content, any content, you need to create the URL. For the activity, you need to create a discussion and then put the link of the discussion. For the for the for the quiz or any type of the assessment, you have to create a assignment. Okay. So this is an assignment. So the only four things that we use. For auditing, if you using if you use the system outside of the UMS and when you want to submit the evidence for synopsis, you have to choose this one. For content, you have to choose the URL. For activity, you have to use forum. For assessment, you have to use assignment function. So this is a self declare activity. If you're using smart tool to, to do your e-learning, then you don't have to do this. Okay. You just we will just automatically get all the information from the from your smart UMS patch. And you are free to use any icon, any content or activity for your teaching and learning activity in smart UMS.